So if you are in a busy time of your life, maybe a stressful time, maybe it's stress that you can't do anything about, maybe it's stress that you've hoped for your whole life, like you're bringing a new puppy into your life or you're welcoming a new grandbaby, something like that. You're moving into a new home, starting a new job, like all of those things that are wonderful life experiences that we don't wanna push pause on, we want to have those things, you may go up in size a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't panic, keep eating keto. It's the one thing that you can control. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and X. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time I'm having lobster and Joe's eating burnt hot dogs, you'll be alerted to it. I Dude. like my hot dogs with like a, like a char on I them. I know I need to stop complaining because I'm just, I think my eggs need butter too. Everybody needs, everybody needs butter. <laughs> That's the message. Um, but yeah. If I don't convince you to eat lobster, I get all the lobster. That's right. So I guess I should probably like cut it out with that. We're gonna do a full day of eating a vlog today. We haven't done one of these in a while. Well, we haven't been home. When we were talking about like living beyond the couch, I'm like, you know what? For a minute, I'm at least glad I am in view of my couch. Mm -hmm. Like I can see, I have a couch and I am at home. Yeah. It's nice sometimes to be home. I mean, we've showed what we're eating, but not at home. Right. We're, we're like RV Unplugged. We have a video on like everything we ate during RV Unplugged. This, it's most of what we ate. I, I have it up here. This is like vacation food though. Yeah. Well, there's a bunch of lobsters in the freezer from before we went to RV Unplugged, I was able to go diving and one day I got like six lobsters. No regrets. But I have not been in the water since before on RV Unplugged and like I'm jonesing to get in the water, but number one, schedule has not been conducive to getting out diving. Number two, on the days that I have been able to get out diving, the weather has been horrible, like really bad currents, um, first of all, the water temperature the last I heard was like 68 degrees. That is like, no, too cold for me. Oh my god! Even gosh. in my five mil wetsuit with my heated vest underneath, that's a little bit too cold for me. Eggs and lobster. This reminds me of that Seinfeld episode where they have eggs and lobster. Does anybody remember that episode? That was a good one. Mmm. I don't remember that episode. So stinking good. They go to like a beach house. Oh, that's right. It was good. Wasn't mm. that, that was towards the end, mm. right? Where where Kramer actually was raiding the lobster trap. Right, exactly, which is, you do not do, No, right? you don't do that. That would be like if you're diving underwater with a lobster in your bag and somebody tries to just take your bag. <laughs> That's I need stealing. to try to get back in the water because lobster season's almost over <gasps> until the summer. Mm -mm. So, like, then it'll be, like, we'll be going after lionfish. Well, I like lionfish, too, so yeah. either one. So that that's going to be the plan. I'm, I'm going to try to get in the water this weekend. We'll have to see uh, how things go. But, yeah, I'm having scrambled eggs with ketchup. Do you like ketchup on your eggs? No. I like ketchup on my eggs. No. And uh, this is probably my favorite brand of, like, keto-friendly ketchup. This one and also the True Made. But the Primal Kitchen is really clean ingredients, no sugar. Uh, 10 calories per tablespoon with two total grams of carbohydrates and the carbs are coming from the tomatoes. You sous vide my lobster. No, did I you? did not sous vide oh, your you lobster. you didn't? What did you do? Your lobster was frozen because they're all in the freezer. Right. And we woke up this morning and you were like, I want a lobster. I'm like, but they're frozen. So Sorry. to help it thaw a little bit quicker, uh -huh. I put it in the Innova Precision oven at 80 degrees for about 15 minutes and that basically helped it to thaw out so that I can crack the top shell, take out the poop chute. Thanks for that. And then um, from there, 
I just cracked it open. I put some butter in it. Simple, super simple. And then I put a little bit of salt across the top and I stick it back in the oven for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees and it comes out perfect. We are wrapping time. up February mm -hmm. in the month of romance and nobody talks enough about, like I have not seen one Hallmark card that's like, thanks for cleaning the poop shoot out of my lobster. Romance. We should make one of those. It's the little things. Yeah. So in addition to eggs, I'm having hot dogs. So what I did was. Burn it? No, I wanted the char on it. I you like it. I like hot dogs cooked on a flat top. Oh yeah, I mean, I do too. And so what I did is I split it and then I put it on the flat top and then I chopped it up into pieces. So it's not really burnt, it's just got a nice char on it. And then I'm mixing them with my eggs and it tastes really good. I know a lot of people who actually like burnt hot dogs. Are you one of them? Do you like I don't, hot I, dogs with I don't a black skin? I don't want burnt, but I do want a char on it. So today we're gonna do a full day of eating vlog. We have so much going on and we really wanna get Mac into doing some vlogging. We're gonna be doing a lot of vlogging from the road because we're mm -hmm. gonna be traveling a lot, but we wanted to do some from home as well. Also, I need to go out and set up our new bicycles. I am excited about that. And here on the home front, I have got to organize some of these cabinets. The problem is, is that we are so busy that when we grab stuff to go, we don't put anything back. And honestly, not putting away things properly makes us buy more stuff. Cause mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I don't think we have any silicone bags. I think we ran out of this particular mug. So making sure that like we organize things and just taking a moment to reset. We talk about resetting our diet, but like what about resetting the house? Okay, cause yeah. that's causing me way more stress than anything else. Yeah, kitchen clutter definitely Where's causes on me? stress for me. I, not super fan of you doing the kitchen cause the kitchen's kind of like my domain, but I don't have time to do it. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and it, do that. I have one request. Okay. With all of like our glass storage containers cause we got rid of all the plastic. Yep. Can we put the lid on each one yep. and stack it up? Yes. Instead of like the shelf of lids that when you then wanna use the glass thing, you can't find the lid. And that just, again, it comes back to what you're talking about is Busy life, empty it out of the dishwasher, and instead of taking the time to dry each one and putting the lid on it and putting it where it belongs, it's faster and easier to just throw the containers in there and put the lids on a shelf, but then you can't find them and then you're missing lids. Well, and just- And that's just because we're busy. Well, just like if your bedroom doesn't feel like a sanctuary, it's gonna affect your sleep. If well, you did the bedroom already. I did. If the kitchen, doesn't feel like a fun and easy place to 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 make a grab and go right. to make dinner what's going to happen you're like i don't even want to get into the cabinet like the whole thing's going to fall out on me like one of those you know cl closets in an 80s comedy sitcom so i'm just going to go grab something else i'm just going to i mean i have made eating decisions based on, I don't even want to go in that room. I don't even want to go in the kitchen. So I will just go to Publix and grab a salad. Like I have spent money to avoid dealing with kitchen clutter. Yeah. So yeah, the plan today is put together our new bicycles. We'll talk about that more a little bit later on. Uh, I have a game. I don't quite know what we're gonna eat for dinner. I'm thinking something on the grill. Well, I mean, you're starting with lobster, so mm, it's a little hard to top that. I know, but. Whatever we eat. And I good. definitely, it's been a minute. I definitely want to have like a creamy today. Mm -hmm. we have to, I have to look and see. I have a whole bunch of creamies made up. So definitely. it's just a matter of throwing it through the machine. And I don't think we have any bacon. I mean, we have bacon jerky, but. Maybe we, uh, that would be kind of cool. What about taking some bacon jerky and chopping that up and using that as a mix-in in oh, the wow. creamy? Because I'm not a big fan of the store-bought bacon bits. They're just like, I think that'd eh. be good. Like, you know, but I mean, I really like regular bacon, but we don't have any and it's not Monday. Yeah. And Monday at Fresh Market, it's buy one, get one free. On Wednesdays, we wear black. This is Tuesday though. So yeah, you normally on Wednesdays, we, we wear black. That's like the Wednesday Adams thing. But um, yeah, so you're saying that normally we would, on Mondays, we buy bacon. Buy bacon because on Mondays, it's buy one, get one free mm -hmm. at Fresh Market. But since you're thinking of talking about 
wearing black. Yes. Something that we are in the middle of designing, let us know down in the comments section if this is something that you would be interested in, is shirts for Friday. So we have a new 2KK logo. We have a new Two Crazy Campers logo. We're we're really trying to work with the designer on a new Two Crazy Kitos logo. It's hard to explain. And we're having a hard time getting to where we want. Like we kind of want to move away from the avocados. But at the same time, um, I love them. But we like the avocados. And so we're thinking about more of like T-Rex, lion, carnivore-ish kind of thing. And, and I can't communicate it to the designer. Because right. that sounds like some sort of psychotic dream. Because then I'm telling him, I need you to incorporate bacon, eggs, and meat. And he's putting like two T-Rexes on mountains. I mean, it looks really cool, but it has nothing to do with keto. Right. And so that's not really helping. But we are in the middle of designing a shirt for Fridays with the brand new 2KK logo, which can be used for both of our channels. Right. And they will be red shirts. And the idea is to wear them on Fridays. On Fridays, we wear red. And that's to remember all of the people who are currently deployed. They're on mission right now. Yeah. So what we want to do is have the red shirt Friday and then also from there donate a portion of the money to the military because again we are very passionate about military and raising awareness for our veterans so i felt like this would be a good way to do it and we can just all do have, it as a community like red shirt friday yeah and, like you can post pictures on our mighty networks group hey i'm wearing my red shirt today must kind be of thing. friday so let us know what your thoughts are for that down below um but just things are super busy right now and the, the stress of travel has definitely gotten to me a little bit with some inflammation. So I'm trying oh, to definitely like for me. get a little bit simpler in our eating for a little while just because it's one less thing I need to think about. It is. I think it's important for us to have ups and downs though, Joe. Like it's we're, we're living proof. We eat keto. We never are not eating keto. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, we we uh, lean towards carnivore. We cheat on keto with carnivore, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and you can still go up and down and wait. Why? Why does that happen? We're definitely getting a lot of movement in. We're mm -hmm. doing all kinds of things. Um, however, our sleep schedule has been a bit jacked. Like not, not something that we could count on every day getting up at the same time and going to bed at the same time. And it's been that way since January. And then also stressed. Stress that we put on ourselves. Stress that we are happy to embrace. You stress, right? Like that's the positive stress. Like planning for a child's wedding or waiting for a baby to be born. Like that's a positive stress. Buying a new house. So those are all things that you would want. We were so excited to be in, on RV Unplug season two. We love that we have all kinds of things coming up in March and April, but it's stressful. Yeah, I mean, we have... You know, we're doing a family cruise. Fun thing. But then you start thinking about, like, I'm going to be gone. Yeah. Like, what about the work? I mean, this is self-induced stress, right? Exactly. Then we get home and literally, like, the next day we got to fly to Vegas. Super excited about that. Great opportunity to hang out with our community. Go to Las Vegas. See Dave Feldman. Be part of the Citizen Scientist Foundation um, conference. Then we come home, we'll be home for a couple weeks or about a week. Then you've got, um, the bears are coming into town. We're gonna yes! go to Disney World and oh Universal gosh. Studios with so them. So much fun. Followed up by Sarah's tea party. Sarah and Nancy, that's awesome. And then we have Easter. And then the very next day, we leave to buy a new RV. Well, we have the, the bears coming in for that week. Right. Then Saturday is it's Caleb's, Caleb's birthday. birthday. Then Sunday is Easter and then Monday we leave. Yeah. So yeah, so there's lots of things happening. So if you are in a busy time of your life, maybe a stressful time, maybe it's stress that you can't do anything about, maybe it's stress that you've hoped for your whole life, like you're bringing a new puppy into your life or you're welcoming a new grandbaby, something like that. You're moving into a new home, starting a new job, like all of those things that are wonderful life experiences that we don't want to push pause on, we want to have those things, you may go up in size a little bit. Mm -hmm. Don't panic. Keep eating keto. It's the one thing that you can't control.
we came out here to Markham Park in Weston, Florida for the inaugural ride of our brand new electric bikes. I have to get ready for my game. Yes, you do. I know that nobody can see behind us and see like what's in the cabinets, what's in the drawers, but can we just pause for a moment? Because I spent the entire day organizing it and now whatever it is you're looking for, you can now find it. You did such a good job. Thank you. I had a lot of junk. We had a lot of junk and we also had things that were not efficiently placed. Like for instance, I think that over the coffee maker, that's where you should find your coffee mugs. What do you think? Um, yeah. In the past, we, we did not have that in, in the right place. It comes opinion. down to the layout of your kitchen. It's like mm -hmm. something, it'll work good in one place, but not in another place. So like, yeah, coffee mugs, ideally near the coffee machine. That makes it sense. Helps. But now they're on the opposite side, not near the dishwasher. Right. So like, ideally, I'd like our coffee machine, which we did for a little while, but then that's a small little counter over there. So it got cluttered. Ideally, coffee machine next to the sink because then you can fill up the water for the it. coffee machine, you know, and then when you take the mugs out of the dishwasher, you can put them away. Yeah. But I'll, you were just being really nice. I had a lot of junk. I had like pots and pans, some of them that I haven't used since we were married because they were nostalgic. I had a set of pots and pans that I've literally owned since college. I mean, they were very good but I don't utilize them anymore. You can maybe just keep a sweater from college or like a bumper sticker with your alma mater. You don't have to keep all of the I, contents of your college dorm in your kitchen. My college experience wasn't awesome right. anyway. I was fat, overweight, and had no friends, so. You were fat and overweight. That seems like a, that's like a double. It was uh, a double it, punch. It was everything, so. We're having asparagus. What planet are we on here? I wanted to upset people. Like, mm. you know, somebody right now is typing down in the comment section, you shouldn't eat asparagus because asparagus is not carnivore, but we're not carnivore. But we're not carnivore. And I have no intentions to ever be carnivore because sometimes I like vegetables. You know what and I like? my favorite two vegetables are asparagus and Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts, but they make me farty. Um, Joe's yogurt, 
mixed with horseradish. That's the, we are basically duplicating the Texas Roadhouse stuff, but better ingredients. I was gonna say, you control the ingredients. So we're having some asparagus and we're having a ribeye. And on top of the ribeye, I've got mm. the wasatch steak mm. seasoning from Redmond. I love this stuff. Um, so good. Couldn't figure out what I wanted to cook. And then I'm like, we, Rachel's was tearing apart the kitchen. So we couldn't really do much in the kitchen. You have and to make I was, a getting things ready and you have to make a disaster before you clean it yeah That's so what we ended up doing was the easiest was we threw the steaks out of the freezer frozen into the Innova oven set it for 128 degrees let it go until we were ready to eat mm. and then I just put it on sear mode hit it a little bit with the blowtorch um you just love any excuse to use your blowtorch blow uh-huh is a good excuse and here's the thing it came out perfect. Mm -hmm. Absolutely perfect. It's like a medium temperature. All the way through. I mean, absolutely perfect temperature all the way through. And mm. ribeye is not my favorite. My favorite is actually New York steak. Mm. Rachel likes a ribeye, but when you cook it in the sous vide, the fat just breaks down a little bit differently. It's like perfect and meat I like candy. That. I do too. So, and then we're of course having asparagus, put butter on everything. Now, we got a really cool present from Meter. What we really like out of the present was the solo stove because it's a little tabletop one. But they also sent us a Meter Plus. We love these too, but we have them. And a Meter 2. And yep. I actually have these already. So we're going to do a giveaway. But now that I'm thinking about it, do we want to give one away in this video and one away in another video? Mm -hmm. Because if we give one away in each, in, both of them away in this video, how are we going to determine who gets which one? Because they're two different ones. I have a plan for the other one. So go ahead and give away one in this video and there will be one that is given away at a later date. Okay, so we're going to do the meter two, which is the newest one. Love it. We actually, I think we have a video about the meter two or incorporated it in, in a video. If I can find it, I'll leave it a link above it. But this is brand new, still sealed. And we're gonna give this away. So here's the rules for the giveaway. Number one, unfortunately, you do need to live in the United States. Uh, just Unfortunately, there's laws in other countries about giveaways on YouTube. And we wanna make sure that we are following all of the rules so that they don't shut down our YouTube channel. We're, and we don't get in trouble in other countries. We're rule followers. Um, also, what you need to do is be subscribed to the channel. Please do that. We will check to see if you are subscribed to the channel. And then you need to uh, also hit the like button on this video and then hit the bell button on the video. And what you need to do is you need to leave a comment down below. So you're gonna leave any kind of comment you want. If you don't wanna win, just put in the comment. Not like, for me. Hey, I don't. I wanna make a comment, but I don't wanna win, give it away to somebody else. And what we're gonna do is, uh, there'll be a date down below that we're gonna pull the winner. You're going, and then we will contact the winner by responding to your comment. That's why it's really important that you hit the bell button so that you're notified. So you know if you want. Because we're gonna let you know that you want and if you don't respond back, we're gonna give it to somebody else. So what we'll do is, again, the date will be down below. Do you wanna say, we will never ask you for, for money. No. We're never gonna say contact us via Telegram, WhatsApp, nope. any of those things. You're simply gonna get a response back saying, hey, congratulations, you won. Send me an email at joe at twocrazyketos.com with all of your shipping information, and then we will ship it out. This is coming directly from us for the giveaway. And you know it's real important that just if you get a scammer or something like that saying, hey, you gotta send us money, that ain't us. That ain't we're, us. We're never ever gonna do that. We don't ask people for money. So I'm gonna finish eating because I've gotta get to my game. Good being morning. adults today. We are being adults today. Or have an ice cream for breakfast. That's the most adulting I care to do this morning. We woke up. Rachel's like, I'm hungry. I was I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I had my coffee with keto brains this morning, but I was like, I'm ready for breakfast. And sometimes I'm patient with it, but then Joe knows like no, when I bring that level not patient with it. of intensity. Like halfway through reading, she's like, I'm getting a can of chicken. Mm. And I'm like, we're having a creamy. Yeah, but I, I need to eat right now. It was it was a carb hangry thing. It it it, it really was... <laughs> it was reminiscent of like carb hangriness. You're right. I just woke up just voraciously hungry. Mm. So yeah, I got home from my game last night and it was like 
It was too late. I wanted a creamy, but I'm like, do I do I really want to eat like this late? And and the answer is no. I should not eat that late. I was in agreement, so I just went to bed with it too. But so I think I dreamed of this creamy yeah, all night long and just because wanted it. I was just like, I want a creamy, so now I want a creamy. You know? So I, I was just like it's like you get your you get your hopes up. Right. And it was like, well, instead of that, I'm just gonna go to bed. <laughs> yeah. So we have mix-ins, and it's my favorite, bacon. Bacon mix-ins with raspberry cheesecake keto chow ice cream. Well, let's talk about mix-ins for a minute. Mm -hmm. Because... We used to get real big trouble with it. We <laughs> First of all, if you don't know what, what a creamy is, if you're new. So creamy is a machine made by Ninja. And basically, you can put just about anything into this container. Mm-hmm. And it'll turn it into ice cream. Liquid wise. You know, so if you're not keto, like let's say, you, have you ever taken your kids to a sporting event and tour a carnival and they have those dole cups, those pineapple cups? Mm -hmm. You can literally put, it's like a concoction of pretty much just a can of pineapple and some water in there and it'll turn it into one of those dole cups. Mm -hmm. For us, what we do is the easiest, and I honestly think the best keto ice cream there is, is to make a keto chow. Just a standard keto chow. Three to four tablespoons of melted butter or three to four ounces of heavy whipping cream. You make it, you put it in this container, just like this, up to this line, and then you freeze it, and then whenever you want ice cream, you put it in the machine, and within five minutes, you have ice cream. So we keep a whole bunch of them. But the problem became... We were eating them every day, which is not bad because not bad. of the ingredients. It's just part of your meal. The bad part is that we started adding granola, chocolate chips, freeze-dried strawberries. So it wasn't the keto chow ice cream's fault. It was like, like the toppings, the mix-ins. We were using things like the Choc Zero chocolate syrup. And there was more mixins than, ice than cream. there was ice cream. And now the healthy ice cream in keto chow was no longer good for our journey. So what we tried to find was something crunchy that we could have a lot of inside of a mixin that wouldn't derail us. Mm -hmm. And so when we discovered that freshly like crispy bacon really made a fantastic mix-in because it's it salty, mixes sweet. crunchy, salty, sweet, creamy all together. It was just the perfect mix-in. And it really goes with a lot of flavors. Almost I like it with every flavor. I love it with caramel Maybe not macchiato. Orange. I love it with um pistachio. There's just a lot of them. Honestly, I have had it with orange cream and actually really enjoyed it. So but I mean taste is subjective. Yeah. So the point of this was the creamy itself is great. It's got good ingredients. Um, if you're struggling, look at the mixins. Mm -hmm. If you're going to use mixins, measure them out. We actually put creamies on hold for a while because we got to the point where like we didn't want it unless we could put a bunch of junk in it. And then and and now you're defeating the purpose. Because well, you're also eating it as part of a meal, not as your only meal. So what we would do too is not only was there stuff in the mix-ins, but we would crumble things on uh -huh. top once it was out. So, you know, even pre-keto, you can see when you would go to like a yogurt or ice cream shop that sold things like by the pound, it was the toppings that always cost oh, you. Oh, we still have um, right? Racetrack Gas Station has the yogurt bar. So you knew that like it's the it's the mix-ins, it's the toppings that are going to cost you, wink, wink. And so that was kind of, it's still the same. That's mm -hmm. what's going to cost you. That's going to derail you if you don't, you know, kind of keep eyes on it. Well, I'm working them. I think I need to lower. This is my test cup. That looks awesome. Yeah, you just need I to mean, move it down. I mean, I had it, it here, but I think I want to move it down even more. Me too. But by moving it down more, see now how it's 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 no longer a circle again. Um. So it's kind of interesting. We're we're gonna do engraved mugs, and I don't know if this shows up on camera, but 
that when you look at it from the naked eye does not look like a circle it looks like an egg right but it is actually a circle it's like a parallax effect it's like what your eye is seeing messing with you but the solution is to stretch this way because now when you put it on there it will look like a circle even though now it's no longer a circle so we did that here and it came out perfect that really does look like a circle but you need to lower it. But when you look on the other side, it doesn't look like a circle anymore. Now it looks too <laughs> oblong because you're doing it by using this measurement. But as we go down, it's not as wide as the top. So you got to keep doing a math equation yeah. to make sure that it's like set up correctly. Yeah. So is this something you guys would be interested in? This is an insulated mug, stainless steel, 20 ounces. Can be used for hot or cold, but it really is a coffee tumbler. It does come with a lid, but the lid is out in the garage. Because you're just testing it. Because I'm testing, yeah. It's, it's it's a lot of trial and error, and but I mean I've got I think the engraving down. I mean look at that. Look it's at the two beautiful, crazy campers one. and I love it. I'm super excited about it. Okay, we are going to. I have like a game tonight. I mean just lots going on. We're gonna start. Rachel's our day. planning like every minute of our family cruise. I know. Which, I I hate to tell you this. Mm -hmm. I think you need to stop. Find one thing a day to do. Nobody wants to run from hour to hour to hour to hour. Like you're like planning everything out and everybody thinks you're crazy. So the cruise, the one thing about the cruise is there's usually like when it comes to like their big productions, like shows. That I agree with. But during the day, we have a lot of sea days. We only have one port yeah, day. Yeah, but a lot of times, especially like on this cruise that we're going on, um, it's only one day each for them. Yeah. So, so I kind of want to make sure that I point out to everybody, you don't have to go, but they're going to be having grease on this cruise. We should have made that mandatory. Really excited about that. We're going to have to make a modification. I bet you have to go to a show with no, mom and dad. I think we're going to have to make a modification. So our rule with the kids, this is a family trip, was you have to go to dinner with us. Right. And... You escape have to, room. And you have to do the escape room with us. And a roller coaster in Haiti. Well, that's, they just all wanted to do that. Mm -hmm. um, we should have made your mom do it, but she wouldn't do it. <laughs> um, but we should probably make Crazy Quest mandatory. We probably should make Crazy Quest I, mandatory. I pointed it out. Yeah, I so. think we're going to make that mandatory. Dad <laughs> rules. Mandatory family fun. <laughs> so. Are you a huge planner? When you go on trips like a cruise, like, so we have in December the 2KK cruise. Mm -hmm. So that is December 8th. I know it's a six night cruise out of Fort Lauderdale, Oasis of the Seas. And it's just hanging out with our community. Right now we have about 50 people, something like that, going. We still, still have excited. some cabins left. And on that, we'll get a room each day to kind of hang out. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty much everybody goes in their cruise planner. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Some people do, though, plan like hour by hour by hour. And so I'm curious, like, what do you guys do? It Rachel is plan hour by hour by hour. And I'm like, plan one or two things and the rest of the time. It's sometimes we're going to want to sit and do nothing and I, fly by the seat of our pants. I am not as big of a planner as Joe is portraying me for the cruises. Because basically, I just want to make sure in the evenings, you... I think the evenings is a good plan. You get to... You, you make sure you don't miss things because I have gone on a cruise before where I was like, oh, okay, I'm sure they're showing that several times on this cruise. And it was like, no, they're no. not. So you miss it. I do think you need to plan the evenings very well. But I'm talking about like during the day, like on a, on a sea I'm day. I have not planned the days. Okay, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you do down in the comments section. If you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos. We have linked link right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video. I'm gonna put right over here. My mouth is frozen. <laughs> but whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we plan something, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.